Hello everyone, today we finally have the information about the upcoming banners on Genshin version 4.2. On the live stream we already knew it was going to be Ayato and Sino on the second phase, but now we actually know the 4 stars and how the weapon banner will be. In this video I will talk about if it's worth to pull on these banners, and I will talk about every character including on these banners being 5 star or 4 star, and about all the weapons including on the weapon banner as well. Without any further, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It gives me a lot of motivation to continue doing these videos. And don't forget to leave a like as well and to check out my other socials in the description. Let's go finally talk about the upcoming banners on Genshin 4.2 second phase. For the character banners, we have Sino and Ayato as the upcoming 5 stars. Sino is a 5 star polar user from the Electro element and is focused on being an aggravate DPS and also being an hyper bloom enabler. In the beginning people trash talk him a little bit because his aggravate damage was not that important compared with other Electro DPSs. But after people started to realize that his two potential is on a Hyperbloom team, he started turning into a beast. Of course, he may not have the same playstyle that everyone wants to play, but now he actually clears the abyss super fast. In my opinion, Sino is an okay character to go for. Of course, he's not amazing, but he's not weak either. You just need to have the good teammates for him. And that's unfortunately something bad on him. If you want to max out his potential, his best teammates are going to be Nahida, Baiju, and now Farina. With the launch of Farina, Sino was one of the characters that got a big buff on his damage capabilities. Because he was already doing an okay damage before, but now with Farina, he cannot continue doing hyper blooms, he can continue doing aggravates and Furina will buff his aggravate damage with her burst. If you manage to add Nahida, Furina and Baiju and you are going for Sino, don't worry, you will be totally okay with him and you will be satisfied. For those without those characters, unfortunately he will not work wonders. Technically you just need a Dendro character, a Hydro character, another filler. You can put another Electro or another Dendro for extra EM on your team. The other 5 star character available on these banners is Ayato. Ayato is a 5 star sword user from the Hydro element. Some people say Ayato is not very special or something like that. But me, as an Ayato main, I can guarantee you. He's that type of card that you play on the game that can be used on every scenario no matter what situation you are in. You want Ayato to be a DPS? You can do it. You want Ayato to be an off-field applicator? You can do it. Ayato will probably work in every scenario, but of course, unfortunately, he's not the best in either situation. So even though I'm an Ayato main myself, I cannot say he's broken on the DPS side like Nuvilet or an amazing off filler like Shinkyu. A good way to compare him is to say that he's a 5 star Shinkyu on fill. And with these two 5 stars, we will have the three 4 stars on the banner. Starting, we have Shungling. An amazing 4 star and probably one of the best since the beginning of the game. No matter if you are a new player or a veteran player that still don't have her C6, she's always a good character to have on your account. The second of all is Cookie. Cookie is also an amazing 4 star character that you could possibly have on your account. In the beginning of the game she was a little bit weak compared to other healers because people were only thinking of her as a healer. But with the release of Dendro, we realized that her kit was being made to be a hyper blue enabler. So since Dendro, she's just been a monster and she will forever be a monster thanks to it. And for the last character, we have Kirara. She's a Dendro shielder that is actually super good on it. She's not the best shielder of the game, but she has a pretty good shield. And she also has a pretty good ability to exploration in case you need it. If you notice, this banner is amazing if you are going for the five stars because each one of the 4 stars actually combines with the 5 stars. Shangling will be amazing to do vapes with Ayato. Cookie will work wonders with both Sino and Ayato in Hyperbloom teams. And Kirara will work wonders with Sino if you don't have Baiju. And for last, we have the weapon banner. On the weapon banner, we'll have the Aran and the Staff of the Scarlet Sands as the 5 star weapons, both Ayato's and Sino's signature weapons. Ayato's sword is a good sword for in general, but not the best and the most generic sword for every user. It will give you crit rate and it will give elemental damage bonus and some normal attack bonus, making it the best option for Ayato, but not the best option for every sword user. 
Staff of the Scarlet Sands Sinos Polar is a little bit tricky. Most people think that it's like Jade Cutter, but for the polearm. Because technically, this polearm, besides giving you a lot of crit rate on this passive, converts your EM into attack, just like the Jade Cutter does with the HP. And for the 4 stars, we have the Sacrificial Bow, the polearm, and the Claymore. All of them have the same mechanic. They all provide ER on the subset, and on the passive, every time you crit, in a certain amount of time, you will get particles for your whole team. Those weapons are always amazing to have on your account, especially for the supports that you will use a lot of bursts or you just want to use them as batteries for the rest of your team. Lion's Roar is an okay sword, not that amazing, so in my opinion, this is the weakest weapon of all of this banner. The Witset is an amazing weapon, but unfortunately, you are fighting with a lot. It provides a lot of good buffs on its passive, that will work on almost every cataclysm in the game, but unfortunately, you are fighting with a lot. You don't know the buff it will land on. So, if you manage to refine this book, don't worry. Some characters like Mona, Risley will lead good on your team. This is all I have to say about these banners. Leave in the comments your opinion, because just like I am, Probably most people are curious to know if you are rolling on this or if you are skipping this because you don't think it's worth it. In my case, I'm going for the weapon banner because I already have Hayato and I want to try to get his weapon. But if I get unlucky and I lose the 50-50 or I get Sino's weapon, I still don't know what I will do. Good luck on your pulls, subscribe and like the video, follow me on the other socials and you will see me on the next video. Bye bye everyone. See ya.